Hi everyone, thank you for the opportunity to be here at KubeCon. In this presentation, we'll discuss the challenges that the Archaeological Park of Pompeii faced during the pandemic and how a cloud native solution enabled by Oracle helped them reopen their doors to the public in June of 2020. By virtue of introduction, my name is Faye Hutzel and I'm the Director of Product Marketing at Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I have over 15 years of experience working in the technology sector for a variety of enterprises. And today I lead and manage key go-to-market initiatives in support of Oracle Cloud adoption. And I have with me today from my team, Akshay Parthasarathy. Akshay, thanks for joining the conversation. Pleasure to be here. Excited to be uh, talking to you during KubeCon. My name is Akshay. I'm part of the product marketing team for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI. OCI provides a full suite of services for public and private cloud, and I'm helping drive adoption of these services, including those for Kubernetes and cloud native. I've been in the tech industry for over a decade uh, at large enterprises as well as startups. Thank you for that, Akshay. As many already know today, the Park of Pompeii in Southern Italy is a major tourist destination and hosts at two and a half to about 3 million visitors annually. At its prime in 79 AD, the Roman city was buried under volcanic ash after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. It's approximated that 20 feet of volcanic ash and pumice in the eruption covered the entire ancient civilization in one day. Thus, the ancient city is largely preserved under the ash and the related excavations of this city as facilitated by scientists at the Park of Pompeii offer a very unique snapshot of Roman life frozen at the time it was buried. The city was home to well-developed and sophisticated public buildings, luxurious private homes with very lavish decorations, furnishing, furnishings and works of art, which uh, continue to remain the main attractions for early excavators and of course visitors today to the park. Um, organic remains, including wooden objects and human bodies, were also entombed in the ash. Over time, archaeologists leveraged molds to make plaster casts of unique figures in their final moments of life. The numerous graffiti carved on the walls and inside their, the rooms provide a wealth of knowledge and examples of the different types of Latin that was spoken colloquially at the time, contrasting with the formal language of the classic writers. Foundationally, this magnificent and unique site itself is, uh, is run by the Italian Ministry of Culture, which is responsible for preserving and promoting the public use of this ancient Roman city. However, during the pandemic, they faced a very significant challenge. Um, at the height of the pandemic in 2020, when the Italian national lockdown occurred, the park was also forced to close its doors, naturally due to safety concerns. Nevertheless, the park's operators, uh, including our partner, Chief Operating Op Officer Alberto Bruni, were uh, steadfastly looking for ways to reopen and lessen the economic impact of the pandemic and foundationally increase generating revenue. Um, balancing these imperatives was a priority, and the park looked to use innovative cloud technologies, including Kubernetes, to provide a technical solution. In, in summary, the goals that the, for the park included using technology to better manage the park's operations, overall visitor experience, self-guided tours and ticketing, and critically reduce the need for on-premises IT systems and their respective management. Pompeii also wanted to choose an implementation partner to build a cloud native mobile solution so that the park managers can focus on day-to-day -day operations of the park instead of IT. And lastly, they wanted to ensure safety of visitors. Um, through effective social distancing and clearly divert foot traffic away from tourist hotspots. So our solution, clearly the park had well-defined objectives for reopening during the pandemic. In order to meet these objectives, 
the park's administrators turned to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Oracle Consulting in particular to help deliver a cloud-based solution. The mobile solution, My, My Pompeii, was built with cloud native and API first principles in mind. The park uses um, technologies such as Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes, serverless functions, API Gateway, blockchain, and Oracle's autonomous database. And now I'll turn it over to Akshay for a deeper look at the possibilities this solution opened up and its implementation path. Thanks, Faye. Let's take a deeper look at the solution itself. The park implemented an app called My Pompeii. It's available on the iPhone App Store as well as on Google Play, so both on iPhone and Android. The basic um, goal of this app was to provide a safe experience by guiding visitors virtually through the tour of the entire area. So the features of the app, as Faye mentioned before, it has a real-time map, and the real-time maps includes various points of interest, the facilities in the area, and so forth. It also takes into account social distancing protocols, as we'll see later. The app is integrated with third-party ticket sales app called Ticket One. Visitors can scan their QR code and access the app directly. So the app will take care of uh, working with Ticket One in order to authenticate any visitors. In terms of sharing feedback, um, the app makes use of uh, blockchain provided by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And it's also integrated with social media so that visitors can easily tweet or share their updates on Facebook. In terms of the guided experience itself, uh, there is a real-time map and that's what I'm showing here on the left. So the real-time map can include various points of interest and facilities, and it can guide visitors through uh, while taking into account social distancing. The app also helps the park staff manage visitors. So it includes a dashboard, which tracks things like the number of visitors, the density in any one place, uh, any one region of the park, and it uses things like heat maps and tracks to help the admins do this. So on the screenshot on the, on the right, you see multiple paths. So in this case, you know, it's showing a blue overlay on top of the park's overall geography. In terms of the technical solution itself, it's a cloud native mobile application that is developed in a few weeks by Oracle Consulting. The solution is completely based on Oracle cloud infrastructure, it's API first, it's based on microservices, it's invoked using API gateway, and it's protected by web application firewall. There are multiple technologies at play, including Kubernetes, serverless functions, and OCI's native continuous integration and continuous delivery tools. For the data layer, the foundation is autonomous database. So the spatial option within autonomous database helps map uh, the park correctly. In terms of the design of the solution itself, uh, the park's administrators work closely with UI designers from Oracle so that high fidelity mockups could be generated. And then once those mockups were validated by the park administrators, we then pro proceeded to development. The Android and iOS apps were developed using native script. The back office app that we saw earlier, that uses a rich web application based on JavaScript. In terms of managing the images and the metadata and other types of content, there was another Oracle product used called Oracle Content Management. Finally, in order to make sure that feedback was transparent and immutable, in other words, it couldn't be modified later, uh, the parks administrators wanted to make use of Oracle Blockchain. Oracle Blockchain also can provide a foundation for the tourist digital wallet in the future. Now pass it over to Faye to tell us a bit more about the results and next steps. Thank you, Akshay. That was a great summary. Um, according to our, uh, our partner and chief operating officer, Alberto Bruni, without Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Oracle Consulting, Pompeii would not have been able to reopen its doors to tourists. And today, leveraging Oracle's technology, the park is well-equipped to enhance and preserve tourism within the local area. 
And it's a deep privilege for Oracle to be able to support the reopening of this incredible tourist destination. Since its launch in the Google Play Store and App Store um, and the Apple Store, excuse me, in July of 2020, more than 20,000 visitors have downloaded the My Pompeii app. My, My Pompeii helps tourists visualize all points of interest, get more complete information, and find first aid stations, refreshment stands, and key rest areas in addition to other facilities. The app also supplements many safety initiatives that the park instituted to allow it to uh, reopen during COVID-19. The My Pompeii app is a first step towards the proposed digital ecosystem to enhance and preserve tourism and culture within the local area in Italy. The application will evolve into a loyalty program that involves other key sites as part of the archeological park of Pompeii, such as Bosco Reale, and Atlantis, and the commercial partners in the area will be included too. In addition, Archaeological Park of Pompeii and Oracle Consulting will continue to enhance the experience of the mobile app with more features based on customer feedback and application insights. If you have further questions on this cloud native solution, we welcome you to reach out to us and we're also happy to address additional questions here. Thank you so much for your time.